for those who have never attended a Peter Hadar show, right? What are they going to walk away feeling, and what what are you what are they going to expect right. or get from the show? What right. can you give me a sneak peek? Right, I've right. never I've never attended one of your oh, shows. Oh wow, wow! So this is I'm a newbie. Bring a guy. <laughs> You're going to feel like. You're gonna feel sexy enough to, you know, go outside and be intimate. Yeah. <laughs> and take off the Victoria's Secret. And huh? Take off the Victoria's Secret <laughs> anywhere that you might be on the planet, outside, anywhere. It's an experience. It's, uh-huh. it's, it's you know, my music is sexy. Everyone says it's sexy. But the but I don't think people understand me as an artist, really. You know what I mean? Like I think the Peter Adar sexy thing is more about the aesthetic of art and sexy, and the fact that you know I talk about sex and women and love so much and all the time because I'm still infatuated with it mm-hmm. and how much you what you can do with it. Mm-hmm. Not because that's the only thing I can write about. You know what I mean? Like, if I'm experiencing something else, then, you know, I'll experience something else. You know what I mean? But at the same time, like, I'm still, as an artist, infatuated with what you can talk about mm-hmm. in, in in those meetings. I'm not going to write about other things just because somebody feels like, I'm, you know, I don't have anything else to write about. Right. You know what I mean? Like, so... I'm um, not going to write about black power just because. Right. I'm not going to write about the economy just because. Right. You know what I'm saying? To me, that's corny and yeah. cliche. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, um, once I feel like I've, I've exhausted everything, mm-hmm. you know, then, you know, then I'll move on. But um, it's, it's my whole thing is about the contrast. And that's why I love Jean-Michel Basquiat because mm-hmm. it was always a metaphor and a contrast in his artwork. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was it, like his whole thing was a, a contrast to what art was at that time. Like in, in that in that time, like in the '70s, the late '70s and the '80s, it was just like you know, uh, art was about minim- minimalism. Right. You know, he was doing all these crazy colors, pastels, yeah. those dark figures, and you know, writing about like you know African American icons and putting you know right. where they were just like other art was just like a plain canvas with just one color. You know? Right. So, we can look at it. We got to wrap it up? Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't want to keep you anymore. No, but, no, no. But, but we, just, we definitely know. have to get back on it because John, Jean Michel, that's that's my boy. Yeah, did you go see. Um, did you go Is see? this new documentary? This yeah. new doc- yes. And I read his bi- biography. Yeah, so I'm we still definitely, here. We, so we yeah, have to do a part gotta, two. We got to do a part two. <laughs> but I mean, like, let me answer that question. We're going to got to go. But yeah. um, what was the question? Oh, we're just talking about your show, what to expect from oh. your show. <laughs> it's, it's sexy, but it's not. Like, I don't want you to feel like it's sexy Teddy Pendergrass, sexy Gerald Levert. It's, uh-huh. like, it's like Teddy Pendergrass, Gerald Levert times like Nerd or Autolux or, or, or it's like it's like Wu-Tang. It's like Ghostface, <laughs> but at the same time it's, it's, it's you know, progressive mm-hmm experimentation you know what I'm saying right right like right. like grunge R&B that's another one you know what I mean it's not it's, like I'm not gonna do nothing that any R&B like no we're not doing that even if you wanna say that I sound straight R&B even if you wanna say I sound straight soulful uh-huh. it's not that because of the other elements right right it's not you know it's not I'm, it's not that I can't sing straight or is not progressive because I'm saying like an R&B artist I'm trying to do that yeah, yeah. You, know, you know what I'm saying yeah I mm-hmm. wanted to I want I want the contrast you know what I mean like that's how I dress mm-hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna flip it to where you know what I mean it's it's an element of man in it even if it's a pink a lavender mm-hmm. bow tie and socks I'm gonna rock it like a man will wear like if you test the man you know, might have some issues and, and that's what you need to understand this is man music and it's sexy music and it's progressive and and just because you're a man doesn't mean that you can't think intellectually and progressive you know and be and and and, and 
respect and appreciate something that's pretty and beautiful. Well, I'm like, I love flowers. I'm definitely looking forward to it. You know what I'm saying? So. I love I love flowers. Like lavender flowers. Like I love like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm gonna keep it. But, you know <laughs> check out check out the site. The site is uh, www.thepeteradarshow.com. Uh-huh. Um, learn to be, you know, if you want us to come to your city, you know, okay. talk to your local promoter, get them to call Shana, and let's get it popping and bring the experience to you. 